Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Oh, no, oh, no. Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. Obviously, I'm proud of our guys. I thought it was the best defensive performance we've had all year. Certainly, the stat sheet shows that. And our effort, our attitude, our coachability, our toughness, our grit today was outstanding. Um, you know, we didn't get beat because of those areas. We played the Akron way today, uh, which is defined by those areas. And I, I'm proud of our guys for that. Defensively, it's something we certainly can build on. You know, at the end of the day, the outcome didn't go our way because of three reasons. One, second chance points, in particular in the second half in the overtime. Obviously, the one end of regulation when you've got a guy six foot tall tipping a ball in, you know, you got to find a way to come up with that rebound. It was a rotational blockout situation because Sabande beat us off dribble penetration, so I have to take a look at, you know, our responsibilities on the blockout there. They got us on a free throw blockout. That should never happen. You know, so second chance points plus five, and then the turnover points were plus 12 in their favor, 24 to 12, 19 turnovers. Now, it wasn't because we were sloppy. We needed to be a little tougher with the ball. They initiated a lot of them. They play that way. Give them credit uh, for making some plays. Uh, but turnovers, second chance points, and then the third area is we just didn't shoot the ball particularly well. I probably highlighted by the one possession we got three offensive rebounds and had Duvivier miss two threes and Parrish missed a three in the corner. And you know we get either one of those to bite, any of those three to bite. You know we're right in there um, at the end of the game. So made the plays the other night, uh, made a few more than Bowling Green State to win it tonight. They made a few more plays at the end than we did to win it, but much different ball game by our crew than what we played in Oxford uh, from an Akron way standpoint. So something we can build on. Now we got to, you know, get those guys refreshed mentally and physically. I had three guys play 42, 42, and 43 minutes. Um, I probably should have got them out a little bit more. That's on me. Um, I felt like we needed uh, those three guys, and, you know, I may have, you know, gassed them a little bit. But we'll take tomorrow off and then prepare Monday and, you know, our expectation is to play the Akron way on Tuesday in, in uh, Buffalo. Once again, very similar to Miami. We did not do that in game one here against Buffalo. You know, I did not feel like our, you know, we ad adhered to our four tenets I just mentioned earlier. Today we did, and because of that, and you lead for 41 minutes, it's disappointing. You know, I'm not going to lie. If you're not disappointed, you don't care enough. So, but I'd much rather play that way and be in a battle like that um, than certainly the way that we played in Oxford. Questions? Can you put your finger on exactly what happened in the second half on offense? Was it more them or is it, was it more you? I'll take a look at it, George. I got to give them some credit because they're, they're so disruptive. Ringo's a load defensively. Great defender. Um, and then uh, Sabande defends well, and they got some other guys that are athletic and long. Obviously, they forced us into some. Um, part of it is probably some offensive toughness that our guys need to have. Um, maybe part of it was I played three guys too many minutes and put them in position not to be successful. That's on me. And then, um, you know, part of it is, you know, we didn't shoot it great. Um, in particular, Duvivier and Ivy, who I played 42 minutes. They're better shooters than that. And, um, you know, I've got to try to find a way to continue to get minutes uh, of rest here and there for them. You know, obviously today I just, we weren't able to, I didn't feel like it was during the flow of the game, ebb and flow of the game. I felt like we needed those three guys in the game as much as possible. And, and um, you know, so maybe I'll watch it and feel like I could have done a better job there. What's up with the yeah, he was he was sick the last two or three days um, and was out and did not practice at all. So we were only going to use him today in an emergency situation due to the fact he didn't he didn't participate and you know shoot around or either practice the last two days. Um, 
you know, with uh, just a sickness that we had to keep him away from the building for a little bit because it's contagious, pink eye. And so he was, he was gone for, you know, whatever day, day and a half where he wasn't even allowed in the building. And I just made the decision that I didn't think he was ready and prepared, um, not any fault of his own, um, just because he had been sick and been out. We anticipate having him uh, for Tuesday's game against Buffalo. I don't know about Jaden yet. That's up to the docs. Obviously, he didn't play today. Six-week mark is today, and he'll continue to get evaluated and assessed here early in the week on Monday. And, um, you know, we'll see uh, if he's able to go or not. And I'd like for him to get some practices in before he goes. He has not practiced at this point, Elton. Uh, well, he, as long as he had a fever and was contagious, we had to keep him out. Um, today, he was, he was at, this morning was the first time he was allowed to be around teammates, not have, you know, not be in contagious mode. Not, nothing of his, uh, not, again, I want to emphasize, it's not a fault of his own at all. It just, he got it, it is what it is, and so he was out, wasn't able to practice at all, did not participate in shoot around, told him that we would use him in emergency fashion today if I felt like we, his teammates needed him. But I knew at the end of the day, physically, mentally, was he going to be prepared to play in today's game? I knew that was going to be difficult based on what he had went through the last two, two plus days. Did this come down before? Green or after. After, because he only played a couple minutes. After, after. Was he starting to feel it then? Um, yeah, he, he was honestly. Um, you know, he was rubbing his eye, and I actually asked him why he was doing that that morning of shoot around at Bowling Green. So it did come on, started coming on about the day of the game. Yep. Hmm. Said so you're gonna look at the top three, the minutes for the top three, mm -hmm. or top three guys. Yeah. I mean, Arguably, those are the guys you have to ride to get where you want to be in a reasonable fashion. Right? Have you told them that you're going to... They, they know they're playing a lot of minutes right now, obviously. It's my responsibility to try to put them in a position to be successful. Um, and obviously with practice and different things we're doing to try to make sure that they're rested and ready to go mentally and physically. They did their job to be ready to play in today's game. Could I have stole a couple minutes here and there, maybe kept the guy on the bench a minute longer, I'll have to watch the film, or two minutes longer, or, you know, exercise the media for a guy that I didn't exercise the media that, you know, and you're probably thinking, man, you're being awful nitpicky, but that's where we're at right now. Our margin for error is small. It is. Okay? And our guys are, you know, every possession we have to value it, every minute of the game we have to value it. And I thought we did today. I thought we did today. I thought our defensive effort was, again, the best we've had all year. It was tremendous. And uh, hopefully it's something that we can build on. I think we've played really well over the last five games. Unfortunately for us, we've only won two of those in terms of outcomes. Um, today could have very easily went our way. Kent State could have went our way. Bowling Green could have went the other way. Could have went the other way. Um, you know, we beat Central. You know, we, we've been, we, Ball State, we led for 24 minutes in here, and I thought their size you know, started to wear on us a little bit, but we battled. We're battling. Um, we're playing our best basketball right now. It's not even close. And uh, we'll see where it takes us here down the stretch. After a day off tomorrow, we'll get back at it on Monday.